Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and actually create our seventh Android application. So just click on this start a new Android studio project. And for the application name, just type in here app seven and then click on next and then choose the API, API 16 for your minimum SDK. Next and black blank activity next and here click on finish. Okay, everyone, now as you can see here, our project is created. So let's just delete this uh, Hello World text view here. And then let's just actually delete this floating action button here. So double click on this res folder here and then layout. And then double, cl double click on this activity underline main.xml. And here delete this uh, floating action button here. Okay. So now let's actually go back inside this content underline main.xml and then drag in a linear layout vertical, okay, inside this uh, screen and in the center of this screen. So let's actually click on this relative layout here and let's actually find the padding attribute for this relative layout and for the all actually assign number zero. And here, as you can see, now the width and the height of our a linear layout vertical is actually covering the, the entire screen okay so let's actually drag in a text view a large text view into this uh, linear layout here and then let's actually double click on this text view and for the text you can just assign uh, a text here for example for example you can just uh, put in start and for the id just uh, type in here txt start and let's actually drag in a button here so let's just find the button component here and then drag it here and double click on this button and for the text just type in here start the loop and for the id just type in btn uh, loop and as you can see here i want to actually put a space between these two components this text view and this button I can just uh, drag in a, a large text view here in uh, between these two components. I can just delete the text of this uh, the text view and then I can just find the margin attribute uh, for this text view here. So as you can see, this is the margin attribute. And for the margin, I can just uh, uh, assign number 20 here. So as you can see, there is a difference between these two components here. Okay. So now let's actually go inside this main activity.java file here and let's actually delete these uh, lines of code here D delete these lines of code too because uh, these are actually related to the floating action button and here let's actually uh, create a text view object text view txt start and then i can just uh, cast this object to a text view object okay find view by id r dot id dot txt start and for the button button btn uh, loop assignment operator button find view by id r dot id dot btn loop so now let's actually make this button to listen to the uh, clicks that the user make so i can just type in btn loop that set on click listener new view that on click listener okay so now here let's actually uh, create a for loop in this tutorial i want to actually show you the for loop how you can actually create for loops in java so i can just type in for and then i can actually put in a pair of round brackets here and then in order to start the loop i can just uh, create a variable here so i can just type in int, int i assignment operator zero so as you can see here first of all I, I actually created a variable okay and then i assign number zero number zero to this variable okay now i, I need to actually specify uh, and uh, when my loop um, is going to is going to end so i can just type in until i is less than or equal to number 10 and then i need to put in a semicolon here and then here i need to actually specify that what happens whenever uh, this loop executes i want uh, the value of this i variable uh, to actually to be increased by one okay and then i need to open and close this loop by using these curly braces so here i can just type in txt start.setText, and now 
inside the parentheses I can just uh, refer uh, to the name of this variable i and then uh, because this i is actually of type integer and we are, and here we are actually assigning uh, an integer number to this uh, txt start uh, we need to actually uh, convert this value to a string value by actually putting a plus operator and then a two a two double quotes here okay so now let's actually run our application and see what happens so now as you can see our application is running and if i click on this button here as you can see uh, it says number 10 okay when i click on this button here okay uh, this loop is going to be executed 10 times okay first we actually specified our variable and then we specified uh, when our loop is going to end actually until i is less than or equal to number 10 and i plus plus and here in this piece of code uh, actually specifies what happens after each execution of our for loop uh, this piece of code is going to be executed i plus plus okay so as you can see number 10 is here okay so now I want to show you the while loop. So now let's actually comment out these lines of code here. Okay, everyone. Now I want to talk about while loop. So I can just type in while and then I put a pair of round brackets here. And now I need to actually specify the condition in which the, the while is going to be executed. So first, let me actually create a variable here, int i, and then I actually assign uh, a, a value to my variable, for example, number zero. And here inside the parentheses, I can just type in i is less than or equal to number uh, to number 10. Okay, and then I need to actually open and close my while loop by using these curly braces. So as you can see here, first of all, I actually created a variable of type integer. And then inside the parentheses here, I actually specified when my while loop is going to be ended. Okay. And now, inside these uh, curly braces, I, I need to actually specify what's going to happen in each execution of this while loop. So now I can just type in txt start dot set text, and then inside the parentheses, I can just refer to the name of this i uh, variable here plus two double quotes. Okay, here I am actually converting uh, this variable, the value of this variable, to a string value. And now we need to actually increase the value of this i variable by one um, in each execution of this uh, while loop. Okay, so i plus plus. So let's run our project and see what happens. So now, if I actually click on this uh, button here, start the loop, as you can see, uh, it says number 10. Okay, here it's gonna actually, it is actually executing this while loop 10 times. Okay. And then it is actually uh, executing these lines of code in the inside of this while loop okay so this is how you actually create a while loop uh, in your project okay so now i want to actually talk about uh, the do while loop okay so first let me actually comment out these lines of code here and now i can just type in do okay and then I actually open and close my do statement here by using these curly braces. And then here at the end of this uh, ending curly brace, I can just type in while. And then I need to put in a pair of round brackets after my uh, while statement here. Okay. After this while word here. And then inside of this parenthesis, I can specify the condition. Okay. For example, uh, first let me actually create another variable. For example, int y assignment operator 0. And here I can just specify the condition. So I can just type in until y is less than or equal to number 15. Okay. And then I need to actually put in a semicolon at the end of my statement. So now I can here I can inside this uh, do uh, statement here. I can just type in txt start dot set text y. Okay. And then I need to actually... Uh, increase the value of this y variable by one in each execution of this uh, do y loop so now let's actually run our project and see what happens okay now let's actually click on this start the loop button here and as you can see here our application crashed as you can see uh, the problem is we didn't actually convert uh, this uh, variable to a string value by using these uh by using this plus operator and then these 
to uh, double quotes. And let's actually run our project again. 